Hello, I'm Dr. Lorraine Maida from HowToLiveYounger.com. I want to answer the question, is niacin hazardous to your health? Niacin has been used for many years to lower cholesterol and the risk of heart disease. Recent studies in the media have given attention to this and said that there were studies that showed that there were serious adverse reactions from niacin, such as bleeding in your brain and your stomach, increased infection, and diabetes. It's important for you to know that this study used a combination drug of extended release niacin with liraprotid. Now, it was the additive liraprotid that caused the increased side effects. This was an anti-flushing agent because flushing is a very common symptom of niacin. And the thing is, this blocks, this flushing, anti-flushing agent blocked a very important pathway that was responsible for clotting, immune system, blood sugar, and inflammation. So this was why that there were many more side effects associated with it. Niacin, on the other hand, has many benefits. It stimulates the P-PAR gamma receptors. These are great receptors to stimulate because they raise good cholesterol, they lower blood pressure and blood sugar, and they reduce inflammation. So this is why niacin has been proven to have a lot more benefits than just lowering cholesterol. And it can, in the right hands, it can be very safe and effective. But heart disease is a process, and it's important to measure all of the different points in a process and not focus on just one thing. In my executive physicals and in focus consultations, I can get to the heart of really what is increasing your risk of heart disease. It would be very beneficial for you to have genetic testing done because aspirin is associated with a 20% increased risk of stroke. So wouldn't you want to know if aspirin is a good thing for you to take? And how about other medications? You'd want to know which medications would be most effective genetically and which ones would, where you would experience side effects. Measuring heart rate variability is often overlooked and you can modulate this and not only benefit from decreasing your risk of heart disease, but you can have a greater relaxation response and increased creativity. Another important thing to measure would be the size, type, and number of your lipid particles. Knowing this is a much more accurate way of tailoring treatment to your specific lipid profile. You can pick out the specific medications and supplements that would be most effective for your condition. I would love to help you live younger and healthier and reduce your risk of heart disease. Visit my website, howtoliveyounger.com, or call my office to schedule an in-depth executive physical or a consultation. I want to help you live younger and healthier and to perform at your peak. Thank you so much for watching.